Hi, I'm Miss Sarah, and this is another episode of Backyard Biology brought to you by the Gwinnett County Public Library. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about squirrels. Squirrels are a type of rodent, which means they have four front teeth that never stop growing. There are 200 kinds of squirrels in the world, but the kind we have here in Georgia is the eastern gray squirrel. Gray squirrels are arboreal, which means that they live in trees, and their bodies are really adapted for this life. They've got really sharp claws that help them grip when they are climbing up branches, and they're excellent jumpers. A gray squirrel can jump four feet vertically and 10 feet horizontally. They also have long tails, which help give them balance when they're leaping through trees. Their tails are also good for communicating. When they twitch their tails, they're telling other squirrels information. Usually the other squirrel is saying, get away. Squirrels are not social and do not like to share. The squirrel's skills at jumping and climbing lead some people to consider him a pest. Squirrels often get into bird feeders that people have set up in their yards. Squirrels are naturally designed to eat the seeds and nuts that people set out for birds. Hanging feeders and tall poles are no match for the squirrel's climbing ability. Unfortunately, this leads to spilled seed and no place for the birds to eat. You can try to combat the squirrel's hungry appetite with a baffle on your pole, but squirrels are very clever and determined. If you're worried about squirrels getting into your bird feeder, there's a few home remedies you can try. First, you can use Crisco to grease the pole of any bird feeder that you may have in your yard. Squirrels can still climb up the pole, but when they get off, it takes them so long to clean their feet off that they really don't want to try that uh, greased pole again. Or you can take some simple spices that you have in your spice cabinet and mix those together. A crushed pepper, red pepper, uh, paprika, and some cayenne pepper. Mix a little bit of that together and you can actually stir that in with your bird seed. The taste of the hot peppers will make the squirrel avoid that seed. Peppers are hot because of a chemical known as capsaicin. Capsaicin gives a hot taste to mammals that try it, but birds are not affected by capsaicin. The pepper is hot to protect its seeds. The delicate seeds of the pepper are too easily digested by mammals and so they won't spread to make more plants. But they can easily go through the delicate digestive system of a bird and more pepper plants will grow. Even though squirrels can seem to be a bother when they're eating your bird seed, they do have an important job to do. Squirrels are often known to hide nuts and seeds that they find to store for later. Some of these they find again, but some are able to grow into new trees and plants. In this way, the squirrel ensures that there will always be forests in our future. This has been another episode of Backyard Biology brought to you by the Gwinnett County Public Library. If you have something interesting or pretty in your backyard, I would love to see a photo. Send your pictures in to backyardbiologygwinnett at gmail.com. Here are some pictures sent in this week. See you next time.